God bless you, my brothers and sisters. This is Anthony Gatson of AF Gatson Ministries and Senior Pastor of the St. Peter Baptist Church, 7110 Bay Street, Elko, South Carolina. And this is Pastor Gatson's Nightcap for January the 26, 2016. God bless you. We thank you so much for joining us. We solicit your prayers. Seems like I'm coming down with something, but the Lord will see us through. So, recently I... I totally renovated my kitchen. I literally tore it out, uh, floor and all, down to the dirt. And, uh, you know, I like doing that kind of thing. But I realized uh, even with all of the new cabinets I purchased and installed, I still did not have enough storage space. So I, uh, within a week or so ago, ordered an island and with added storage space and some chairs for my kitchen. Well, while reading the instruction and, in, and assembling the chairs tonight, I thought about an old adage about men and instructions or men and directions or directives which are, in essence, instructions. It, uh, it said, uh, brothers, that we don't follow instructions and we won't ask for directions. I know, right? I'm not the one that said it. But look, can I suggest that men don't follow instructions because we don't need them? But brothers, have, have you ever wondered why when you finish putting your children's toys together, they sometimes don't work right? Um, well, may I suggest that it may be because you didn't need the instructions, nor did you need all those extra parts that you stuffed back in the box, the ones that the manufacturer inadvertently put in there. You don't need that extra stuff. That's, that's a special set. It's not supposed to swing all the way. It just swings halfway. Okay. M might I suggest that men don't stop and ask for directions because they already know where they're going? Then y'all ask ladies questions like, well, if you know where you're going, why have we passed the same neighborhood seven times if you know where you're going? Well, it's because I perceive that there are some wicked and perverse folk living over in that neighborhood and they're using that area as a home for their wicked and perverse activities. And I perceive that that wicked and perverse place needs to be torn asunder. But I knew you were not going to support me and help me. So what I did was I drove around there seven times on purpose. I was not lost. I went around seven times on purpose and before you interrupted me I was about to blow my horn. Look, I know it's not a ram's horn, but I was about to blast it for a long time. We were going to shout and just pray that the walls of that terrible place came tumbling down. That's why I passed it seven times. It's, it's not that I was lost. I knew exactly where I was going. Well, um, I, I, I heard a, a, a guy talk about being lost one day and how he prayed his wife would not wake up, but she did. And 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 when she did, he tried to convince her that uh, he knew where he was, even though he did not. And finally, I said, I said, listen, man, nobody has time for that kind of stuff nowadays. He said, I, I said, look, if you're lost, you're just lost. And then it occurred to me that most cars have GPS. So I asked, I said, look, why didn't you just key your destination into the GPS and, and, and you wouldn't have had that problem? He said, well, look, you must be out of your mind. He said, I already had one woman in the car telling me what to do. Do you really think I was going to listen to two? Just a little humor tonight, but <clears throat> on a serious note, some folk believe that real men don't ask for help, and society sometimes adds to the problem by suggesting that a man needing help is weak or incompetent. And, you know, we will even help little girls, but we'll tell, tell little boys that they should be able to handle it on their own because they're supposed to be little men. But how much time and trouble would we save ourselves if we simply followed instructions? I come to tell you, man, woman, boy, or girl, your Bible is worth listening to. And, and we would save ourselves untold hours and even years, if not decades, of damage and devastation if we would just do what the good book says. I've heard the Bible described as B-I-B-L-E, basic instruction before leaving earth, or as an instruction manual for life. And no doubt 
there is needed instruction contained within the pages, but some shy away from that definition or from those descriptions because they say it diminishes or it weakens the Bible to suggest that it's nothing more than an instruction manual that you use when you need it, but otherwise you never read it. Sadly enough, that would be an excellent depiction of most people and their Bibles, but we know that the Bible contains so much more than just instruction. I think we have to acknowledge that the gospel is not just good advice. The gospel is good news. What we should do and what we should not do is contained within and is of great importance. But don't get so caught up on the do's and the don'ts that you forget about the already done. This is what you should do. This is what you should should not do. That's good advice. This is what Christ has already done for you. That's good news. That's a good place to shout there. Look, and he has already hung, bled, and died for your sins and mine. So while we acknowledge briefly tonight that there is so much more to the Bible than just the instruction portion, we cannot lessen the importance of the instruction portion. Proverbs 3 and 7 says, Be not wise in thine own eyes, because according to Proverbs 14, 12, there is a way which seemeth right to a man. It's going to seem right to you. You're going to think you're doing the right thing, but the end thereof is the ways of death. So as you're ready yourself for rest tonight, might I suggest that you follow the good book. I won't call it the instruction manual as if that's all there is to it, but the manual that does contain instruction because uh, 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 there's so much more to it than that. Uh, I will Let me suggest tonight that you lean not to your own understanding. Do all in your power to refrain from being a self-deceiver tonight because self-deceivers are ultimately self-destroyers. This is Pastor Gatson. This is Pastor Gatson's Nightcap. God bless you. Good night.